Uh, good morning to you. You've been bullish on things. And by the way, the equity market, with the exception of this morning a little bit, has been bullish on things. How much of that is a function of a view that the Federal Reserve is going to stop moving higher? Or is it a view that they may go higher and then ultimately be forced a year from now, let's say nine months from now, to actually go lower later? Yeah, I think there's going to be a pivot soon. And I don't mean that that means they're not going to increase. I think it's going to be 75 basis points uh, next week. Uh, but I think they're going to acknowledge that there has been a tremendous amount of progress made on inflation. And, and I want to uh, reiterate the, the very important housing market uh, distortion um, uh, in the index. In fact, in less than 10 minutes, we're going to get the uh, very well-known and well-respected Case Shiller monthly index. I predict it's going to show a decline, um, uh, maybe about eight-tenths of a percent. We're also going to get a federal housing administration index, which I predict will be a decline. Uh, now, if you remember what panicked the capital markets and the stock market two weeks ago uh, was that core rate. Well, that core rate was pushed up by an increase of seven-tenths in the housing sector. And as I pointed out, with the Bureau of Labor Statistics lags so dramatically, right. them putting that in, that we're going to see the real index decline in 10 minutes and there's still a inflation in the core rate. And so, I, okay. I think, so, but yes. Jeremy, Jeremy, I'm just trying to understand. So short term, you think they raise 75 basis points before the end of the year, another 75? I, I, I hope not. I don't think it's needed. Um, I think, uh, you know, I mean, 75 and 50 and wait. I mean, I don't even think that's needed, but I think that the market is, is, is more than more than hoping for what exactly it is, but a, a statement by the Fed that they see progress right. and at some point can afford to pause and see if that progress really makes it. That's 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 what the market is looking for. This the the, the what scares the market the most is the Fed is going to stay this tight through 2023, which I absolutely think would be really disastrous okay, for so, the economy. But let's say they even lighten up and we get into a situation where there's actual real unemployment and we start to actually see that move. I would think if at the rate we're going, you'd start to see that by February or March, maybe. I don't know. And then maybe they reverse course. I don't know. But, you, you know, there's, there's a Larry Summers view of the world, and maybe you think he's right and wrong, that we're going to get into a period of stagnation. And then what? Well, you know, I, I dis you know, respect it, but I disagree with Larry that we have to be as high as he thinks we have to get, because I really think that tremendous progress has already been made against inflation. And we're way on the downside, even though the statistics won't show it for, for quite but a while. Uh, so I think that the Fed is, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see a 2% Fed funds rate by the end. Right. Of, uh, of of 2023, as we see the economy. So, what's important? People are so impatient. Um, cool. We've only had six right. months of tightening. Started in March, and all of a sudden, because core rates are not going down, people are saying, "Oh, right. the Fed's not working; it has to keep on hiking." Uh, there are there are long and variable lags <laughs> in it. Uh, you look at the, right. the exposure but money started in 2020, and it didn't. In, we wouldn't get a lot of inflation until 2021. Professor, I, I don't want to misstate the, the, the Larry Summers position. I agree that he wants higher rates. There's no question about that. But then he talks longer term about a period of, of effectively secular stagnation. If that's the case, the question is, is the market, uh, you know, a great value buy? I think the way you would argue it is. But that would require, I think, to see serious growth at some point. Well, I I think the chan I, there's a chance the Fed can can save that stagflation um, and a serious recession uh, if they if they acknowledge now that that progress been made. Um, I don't think that we're going to have. A, I, I think inflation's coming down. Don't forget, stagflation is high inflation with very slow growth. 
Now, we really had slow growth. This year's GDP is very, very low, and we're having coming down inflation. So I don't think 2023 is going to be marked by the stagflation that, that, that Larry fe fears. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.